Hi guys, welcome back and today what we're going to be having a look at is subtracting using logic gates. Now I'm going to give a quick tutorial on how this works and then possibly build it towards the end of the video. So without further ado, let us start. So what we're going to be having a look at first is these inputs. Now we've got an A input here and a B input. Now we're going to be subtracting B from A. So that's how this is going to work. Now we can ignore this first bit here because that is just ordering the basically the signals going into these so it all works correctly. But what we've got is an XOR gate, a NOT gate here and an AND gate. Now you can actually simplify this by removing this NOT gate. Let's make it look nice by putting a bit of red clay under there and simply getting rid of that and replacing it with a repeater and it still should work fine. So this is what we've got. We've got a an AND gate and a simplified NOT gate here and an XOR gate. Now the XOR gate works just like the addition uh, and we've also got an AND gate like the addition but this time we're inverting one of the inputs and this makes it into a subtraction circuit. So I'll demonstrate this over here. So if we do A we'll find that we get an output of 1. Now this is the 1 and this is a plus or neg minus. So if it's off it is plus and if it is on it is minus so at the moment we got one what is correct so we're doing one take zero which is one and zero take zero which is zero and if we do zero take one you'll get a minus one so you see it's lit up and we've also got a one and finally if you do one take one we will get nothing so this is how it works and I guess we'll have a look at how we can build this so we're going to start with making the XOR gate this is very simple we basically just make a T shape Now these are our two inputs, we've got A and B, and now we're going to move on to the AND gate. So we're going to make a normal AND gate, but just leave off one of the torches to make it a NOT gate. So as you can see, we've done that there, and then we're going to take an output from here and invert it. And that makes it into an AND gate, so we're just going to take the signal, actually probably don't need to do that. Put some blocks there, put a bit of redstone there, put a lamp there and a lamp there to signify the outputs are. So now we've got this and we're going to make the inputs clear by putting repeaters on each one of the inputs. Now what we're going to do, we're going to have two inputs and I'm going to put these quite a bit further back, so probably here and here. Put two lamps on top of them. So what we're going to do is make a bit of a torch shower and make so sure this top bit of redstone is on. Then just lead this wire over here, like so, and this one over here. Now we're going to put some redstone all along the top of this and this will just make sure the signal can transfer across and power these torches. And then we just need one piece of redstone there and this should be, oh not there, there, and this should be all working. So we can test that by putting a lever here and a lever here. Now this is the A and this is the B. So test that. There we go, one. Let's do minus one. There we go. Then we do one one. One take one even. And there we go, nothing. And then we're gonna do nothing, take nothing, what should be still nothing. There you go, it's all working. And I hope you've really enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. It's just, sorry it's been a little bit of a shorter one, but I hope you've still learned something about logic gates and using them to make a subtraction circuit. So I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye from Crafting Redstone.